you can use it as a you know <clears throat> just to get a general feeling to get the the lines on the track on the racetrack or on the stage or whatever it is to get a feeling for the bumps and the jumps it's all very very realistic so for sure there's a there's a definite trade between the game and and the real life experience uh, i think for, for certain people for sure sure there is yeah i mean there's an awful lot of people rally fans that, that will play the game and have all the latest games and but then you've also got probably i would say the majority uh isn't that way it's you know the majority of people are, are genuine game players that just enjoy that that type of game uh, Vic, that's the first for me that there's two there's the first victory in uh, at world level uh, which was in new zealand and then there was the the championship in in 95 so the, you know these are the two the two main goals yeah, that, yeah. It's one thing that's always in the back of your mind. With it, I think with any extreme type sports, people, you've always got that uh, in the back of your mind that it's a high risk sport, and and there's a chance you, you, you know, if it goes wrong, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. But it's something that it's something that you you're very aware of in your in your sort of preparation and your your judgment of how quick you, you can or can't go. But at the same time, you've just got to accept that there, there is a risk there. I think it's, it's obviously been a, a, a gradual progression. With, you know, with every game, it improves, it improves. But I think now, with the Colin McRae dirt, this is going to be the, the biggest change of all. Uh, all the other games have been a sort of evolution of the previous. But now, this is a completely new game, completely new disciplines. Uh, new computers, so uh, yeah, it's gone to the next the next level for sure.